Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam, and I'm going to start the reading with one of the cards from my Oracle card deck. I created these rainbow-inspired energy art paintings over the span of several years, and I got this self-published. And if you want to find out more about my deck, it's at moonbeammagicdeck.com, and magic does have the K at the end. I'll just start out with one of these quickly, and then we'll get on to the rest of the reading. It is a general reading. Not everything here will apply to you or resonate, but please take what resonates and leave the rest. The Love Wave card. Moods are contagious. Emotions, feelings, and moods are energy. What type of energy are you sending out to others? This card comes as a reminder that your energy, actions of love or otherwise, affect you and those around you. When you send out kind, caring, loving, and compassionate energy, it spreads to others. Do your best to share the positive energy. Send out the type of energy that you yourself would want to receive. Start a love wave. So we'll put that over here. And we're going to start with three cards from the Art Nouveau Lenormand deck. First card there is the tree. And then we got the clouds and the heart. And next we'll go to the Pagan Lenormand deck. That's the park card and the ship and the gentleman, the man card in that deck. Um, the very first card there, as I said, is the tree. And the tree is all about longevity and growth and stability. It can be about putting down roots. It can also be about having patience as you wait for something to grow over time. This next card is, whoops, this next card is the clouds. The clouds are all about really worries and confusion, clouded vision. It can be about moodiness, even depression and something that you're just really uncertain about. The next card is the heart. And the heart card has a very beautiful energy as she's looking through that, that heart that she's holding there in her hands with the greenery around it. This is a card of, about love and affection in all forms. It's about partnerships and creating a union. Care and affection are needed. It can be about romantic gestures, romance. Um, it can indicate just an absolute compassion and tenderness and caring. Now, right there, she's looking down at the man. The man card is very neutral. It could be about you or someone in your life. And really, we need to get another card to see what he is looking at and see what his focus is. While I shuffle those, we'll talk about the ship card. The ship has more than one message. The ship can be about your ship coming in. The ship could be moving forward from a time period of confusion and a lack of clarity. The ship can be about you traveling to meet someone or them traveling to come and meet you, but it's definitely about forward movement. It could be spanning the distance between people. It could be traveling to see a, a man or a woman traveling, vice versa, you know what I'm saying. Um, 
this park card is about being social, going outside, being in gatherings, going to picnics or concerts or outdoor plays, but it's also representative of the spiritual journey because there is a labyrinth there. And the labyrinth, along with the tree right above it, again, I believe indicates patience and finding your way along this path and this journey and not necessarily reaching the place that you want to be just yet. I do believe that the patience and the uncertainty are shifted by the ship card, the boat. So let's see what, what the focus is and see what the man is looking at. Okay, so the focus is the key. And the key is representing a solution to the situation at hand. The key is a missing link. The key could be really having an aha moment or an epiphany of some sort. The key will help the confusion go away. The key will help with the stability and the growth, the slow and steady growth of the situation at hand. I'm going to pick a couple more cards just to see if we can get a little bit more about what's going on. And there's the tree again. How beautiful is that? And in this tree card, like the other, stability, it's also about putting down roots. In this card, it looks like an absolute fairy tale fantasy, it has a beautiful rainbow and longevity, stability, happiness. This is definitely an indication of happiness after a period of time where patience and confusion and even moodiness and depression were at play. Let's see what else comes out here. Okay, look at that. That is the Labyrinth card. In that deck, it's just like the Labyrinth here. It's it's the same message. You can see that these people are trying to figure out where they're going and how to get there. <laughs> they do almost look confused, like the Confusion Energy in the Clouds card. And in this deck, it says, when you think you're on the right path, you hit a wall, you have to start over again. This is really trying to figure out where to go on this journey and what, what comes next. And the good news is you're not alone in this journey. There's other people there kind of walking around and um, trying to find their way as well. But I believe that the energy of the ship takes you to the next phase helps you enter a time period of this solution. There's some kind of a solution that's coming to whatever has been perhaps wrong in the past. And now we get the cross card. Now the cross card has dual meanings as well. The cross card can be about pain and suffering and sadness during this time period of confusion. But on the flip side, the cross card is also about keeping the faith and having hope. The sun rays behind the cross that are glowing in through that window, sun rays to me are always about hope. And the cross card also indicates destiny and fate at play. So whatever relationship involving your heart, whether you're the man or there's a man in your life, Keep the faith. There will be a solution revealed if it has not been revealed already. I'm going to just grab a couple more cards here before we say goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to pick two more, I think. Maybe just one. I don't know. Yeah, I think one more. This is definitely involving a man and a woman. Okay, that's the one that came out. It 
just flew out of the deck. So I'm going to start there at the top. The Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs is a card that's called Feeling. And as you can see, there is a man's head at the top of what appears to be a snake. And he's got his hands out. And he's got a really wicked weird look on his face. But the thing is, to me, this card absolutely re represents a new time period where your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings are becoming clear. So the clouds were about confusion and not having clarity. This is having clarity. This is another aha epiphany type moment. And if there has been anything that has been hidden and not revealed to the other person in the relationship, this card to me screams that the truth is coming out. The truth cannot be hidden in that snake forever. The truth always comes out eventually in time. The next card at the left there, it's called the Morning Herald. And it's the Jack of Diamonds. She is the messenger of something new and good. She is bringing news. She can bring you money. She can bring you um, objects. But she's definitely about fertility and good luck. Yes, something new and good. Right there along with the tree card. With the happiness and that beautiful rainbow. And the woman, of, again, is either you or a woman in your life. And that last card is the Nine of Clubs. And the Nine of Clubs card is called Psyche. And this is a card that's about, it's the beginning and end of all knowledge about the human experience. It's about maintaining balance between opposing qualities. And it's a card of hope balance and hope. And hope is reflected in this card as well. So there's hope after this time period of confusion and a lack of clarity. A truth will be coming out. There is good news on the way. There is stability and happiness. Your ship is getting ready to come in or you're going on a ship. There's definitely forward movement in this situation. And if you remember to treat everyone else with the type of energy that you yourself would want to receive and keep love at the base of all your decisions, things are going to work out really, really nicely. I hope that something in this reading did speak to you. If you'd like a private reading, you can send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I hope you have a really wonderful night.